G'day everybody, Jasko here. I hope you're all having a great day. Um, what I want to show you today is I've added the heat exchanger to a vehicle, um, to a Freelander that didn't really have one before. Well, not that it didn't have one before ever. Um, I don't know whether it had one before um, I bought it or not, but um, I've owned it since 2011. And um, when I bought it, it didn't have one. And look, some cars have them, some don't. Um, you have water-based water, or water -based ones, as in coolant, or you have air, air cooling ones. I've decided to go with the water one. I've actually decided to use, use one from the MG vehicle, which has, a, has the same engine with different variations. And I'm just gonna show you a little bit around that. Okay, so here we have a, um, here, so this is anyway, I'll just zoom out. This is the car, okay. It's a 1.8 Freelander. Okay, so what we have here is, here it is here, see, what I've done is I've installed it and I've had to modify the pipe work a bit. Um, gosh, it's pretty dark here, isn't it? So if you look carefully, this hose here, which is the, the coolant coming out of the heater, I've modified it right over here. I'll put a T-piece um, and a T-piece the T-piece is going into the heat exchanger, okay? So when the T-piece goes into the heat exchanger, similarly, because because you want continuity, you need continuity for your um, for your coolant flow, the T-piece will facilitate that. See, I have my, um, my T-piece, which goes into the metal pipe where the water pump is. Um, similarly, coming out of the heat exchanger, we have a, a hose here. Now, I wanna try and show you this is, Best I can, I know it's pretty dark here, but um, we have a we have a pipe coming out. If you can we have a pipe coming out here and there's a T piece. There's a T piece right here which again goes into the engine goes into the engine where the water pump is into this metal pipe. Um, and I'm going to show you where, the, where this uh, oil piping goes as well. See, there's a, there's a pipe in and there's a pipe out. Um, if you look carefully, I managed to carefully route them through the gap down here between um, the IRD and the bracket. Um, I want to get down there and show you this a little bit close up. Just here, I'll show you what it looks like from underneath. Basically, um, which shows the same engine with similar variations. I'm just going to show you um, route the pipes to make it, make it fit. Um, I appreciate any comments if you think if you think this is good. This is not, not good. It's I really everything.